Hello, everybody, and welcome to a special episode of Minecraft Disney. This isn't going to be like your typical history episode. In fact, this is going to be similar to the original tours that I did. Uh, this is, it's like Christmas for me. I was away in Boston for PAX East, and while I was away, MC Magic has opened Typhoon Lagoon. They're still working on parts of the park. Um, I don't think it's totally open, but it's, it's, in progress and I figured we'd take some time to walk around and explore it a little bit. Now, if you're unfamiliar, Typhoon Lagoon is one of Disney's two water parks, Disney World's two water parks, the other being Blizzard Beach. And uh, like all things Disney related, even this has its own backstory. And I don't have the exact backstory memorized, but the idea was uh, that this storm had hit this sort of calm resort village and um, it ended up throwing a bunch of boats onto uh, this island. Now, what was the name? Uh, the typhoon in question was called Hurricane Connie. And the reason I remember that is because it's supposed to be the same hurricane that caused uh, people to be stranded on Pleasure Island, which is no longer around, by the way. And then uh, the other name I'm trying to remember was, I think, Tilly. And Tilly, if I recall, is... Is it the boat or is it the the mountain that the boat's on? I think it's the boat, but it's the main icon is this boat shipwrecked on top of this mountain. Uh, and so the idea is uh, all these boats are shipwrecked, so the whole theme park's sort of themed to have all of this wreckage everywhere. It's like a storm ran through it and just ravaged this, um, this little tropical island. So it looks like only some of it's built, which is fine. I can't build anything, so honestly, this work in progress is still scores beyond what I am capable of. I think we need to go this way to get over to the wave pool. Um, interesting fact about it, they, Michael Eisner originally wanted to call this park Splash because he just had like a weird thing with the movie Splash. <laughs> because if you know, um, Splash Mountain is named after the movie Splash with Tom Hanks. Uh, the touchstone picture film. I guess it was sort of symbolic because at that time, that was Michael Eisner's, I think, first live action film after taking the reins uh, with Frank Wells. And so I guess to him, it was it was very symbolic of the direction of the company. Um, of course, Splash Mountain ended up being themed after a song on the South, but uh, it was named after Splash, the movie, even though it has absolutely nothing in common. Uh, so we've got the wave pool here. Now, Typhoon Lagoon. Oh, look, it is there. The boat's there. That's so fantastic. We have to get closer to it. Features this wave pool. I haven't been to this place in ages, so my memory is a little rusty when it comes to it. But uh, it was a great way. Now, this is technology that Disney had actually tried way, way before Typhoon Lagoon was even around. Uh, Back when Disney World was in the works, they wanted to create some sort of device that would be put under the Seven Seas Lagoon that would create waves for surfing on the Polynesian Resort. Unfortunately, um, it didn't work too well. The tech just wasn't there. But uh, Typhoon Lagoon, they made it work. It's a special little pool area. There you go. You got the boat on the mountain. Uh, it features a cool water slides. It features pretty much your normal um, water park trappings. It's got a, got the lazy river that you can relax around. It's, you know, just Disney's take on a classic, which is the water park. And uh, like everything else Disney does, they theme it so fantastically. Let's see. Oh, look at that. You got a little lifeguard there with the lifeguard sign. It looks like they're still in the sort of outlining stages of the park. Uh, as you can see, it is a pretty big park. This looks like the lazy river that I was mentioning before that you could ride tubings around. Uh, tubings, tubes. There's the mountain with the boat on it. Uh, I don't know, it's either Mount Tilly or the boat's name is Tilly. I'm gonna have to get back to you on it. When I do my actual official like Typhoon Lagoon history video, I will make sure I have that correct. And look, people could go surfing, this is really cool. Uh, Blizzard Beach, of course, is the other one and that is based on uh, a winter resort that's uh, also interesting in terms of theming. Uh, leave it to Disney, I think, to take an interesting twist. I think this one was a little more uh, traditional because it's you've got this sort of Caribbean-esque vibe going with uh, the island resorts and the boats and the water, but Blizzard Beach is sort of like the exact opposite of what you'd expect out of a water park, right? 
but they do it anyway and it works really well the soundtrack's fantastic you know they're playing like all sorts of beach music um i think blizzard beach is the one that's playing mostly like uh, the beach boys it's like warm summer music just you know to be ironic so look at that and then you can see it in the early stages here you can walk around check it out see this slowly come to life right the other idea is that there's a volcano i don't know if that those orange blocks there are meant to represent the lava but uh, a volcano sort of hit the area at the same time i love the sort of cross story promotion pleasure island used to be an island that was near Typhoon Lagoon, and what it is now is what we've become known as uh, part of downtown Disney. But the idea was it was an island with uh, nightclubs and dance clubs and comedy clubs, and essentially just entertainment geared towards older Disney guests, like the parents and, and adults. Uh, it ended up not working out too well just because uh, Disney just didn't know how to manage the nightlife scene. You know, running clubs came with its own troubles. Teenagers from the Orlando area would go there and sneak in and they'd get in fights and it was just overall not good for Disney's image So they ended up closing it off and uh, one novel thing they did with it. This isn't Typhoon Lagoon related, but they would uh, Similar they would have their own fireworks show at night as well every night and every night no matter what day it is They celebrated New Year's Eve and they did a whole New Year's Eve celebration, which was really cool uh, I never got to really experience it as an adult. It was gone by the time I was older but I did get to go when I was a kid to celebrate the New Year's Eve at one point. Uh, and so the, the story there was that uh, I think it was Meriwether Pleasure and like her family or people she was with got stranded during this Hurricane Connie in the 50s on this island and they turned it into like a party city. And that's the same hurricane that threw that boot up on the mountain and sort of just even that like little backstory, even though most people would never know it. Stab on the slab to use. Use to use telescope for a few seconds. What? Can I really do that? <gasps> what? Look at that. That's so awesome. I didn't do anything. I just stood on it. And then it turned into a telescope. That's sweet. What does that do? I wonder what that... Oh, slowness. That's a clever use of slowness. Look at that. So that's awesome. What do we have here? The storm is over. The coast is clear. Come and see the view from here. I like what they do with these signs. I don't know if it's a proprietary plugin or one that they use that's openly available, but it's really awesome and it adds so much to the theming. Is what is this like a bag check area? Nope, that's the alligator. They have a gator for a mascot. I forgot his name, but I do remember it was adopted after they created an ice gator for Blizzard Beach and he became really popular, or relatively popular at least, and so that they made a, a similar gator for Typhoon Lagoon. So there you have it, Typhoon Lagoon. It's in the works. Uh, really excited to see them working on this. Keep in mind, MC Magic is doing so much. They're finishing up the Animal Kingdom. They're refurbishing Epcot. Um, they're working on Typhoon Lagoon. Who knows what hotels they have up their sleeves. Uh, I think this is fantastic and just shows that the, the talent that MC Magic has, that they can work on all these projects at the same time and have the thought to go back. Like the thing that they're refurbing Epcot mainly because uh, I think Epcot is one-to-one, -one, so it's not like that where they redid MK to make it one-to-one. -one. It was more like they're refurbishing it because so many new things have come out since Epcot was finished that, you know, there's more detail they can add. There's newer and better ways that they could do certain things. So they're going to go do a pass on Epcot, make it look uh, even better and nicer. And they're going to build this at the same time, apparently. This is really cool. I can't wait to see what they do with it. I can't wait to see uh, the completed Typhoon Lagoon. Uh, and I can't wait to see you all next week because hopefully you will join me for the next episode of Minecraft Disney. Bye, everybody.